In this video, I'm going to show you the results of the latest firmware update from LG Electronics to fix the dimmer HDR game mode on the LG C1 and G1 OLED, and also talk about the possibility of the LG C1 carrying the EVO panel advertised on the more expensive G1, and what you should do about it. Keep watching. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everyone, Vincent Theo from HDTV Test here. When I reviewed the LG G1 with OLED EVO panel and also the step down C1 a few weeks ago, I found that the HDR game mode was dimmer than the HDR cinema mode. So let's say on the G1, I discovered that the HDR game mode measured around 100 nits lower than the HDR cinema mode in terms of the peak brightness on a 10% window after calibration to D65 white point. On the LG C1, the discrepancy is not as large. I measured a difference of around 50 nits in terms of the HDR game mode versus the brighter HDR cinema mode and the same applied to the HDR filmmaker mode as well. So on both the LG C1 and G1 on the previous firmware, we found that the HDR cinema mode will provide the highest peak brightness, whereas the HDR filmmaker mode and also the HDR game mode would be between 50 nits to 100 nits lower than the HDR cinema mode. Now, LG has promised a fix and they have begun to roll out a firmware update first in Korea and then to the rest of the world. So the version that I have actually installed on the LG C1 is 3.11.15, but depending on your region and depending on when you receive the firmware, the version number may change slightly. But the main purpose of this firmware is to restore the HDR peak brightness of the HDR game mode and also the HDR filmmaker mode. And indeed, once I install the new firmware and I measured HDR cinema mode and the HDR filmmaker mode, you can see that they are neck and neck. There is virtually no difference whatsoever, which means that the latest firmware of 3.11.15 has worked to restore the HDR peak brightness in filmmaker mode. And the same applied to HDR game mode as well, because if I post up the PQ EOTF tracking chart of the HDR game mode with the color temperature set to W50, again, I think we need to have an apples to apples comparison. So we needed to use the same color temperature for both HDR cinema mode and also the HDR game mode for a fair comparison. And we found that the difference is less than 20 nits, which is acceptable because in HDR game mode, a lot of the video processing has to be disabled. So this is something that you must understand that the panel can't really push the peak brightness to be as high as HDR cinema mode, but a discrepancy of only 20 nits is within reason and is similar to what we've seen on previous LG OLEDs such as the C9, the C10 as well. And in fact, I found that the peak brightness gap between HDR game mode and also HDR cinema mode closed to within 10 nits after calibration, which is a very good result if you ask me. While on the subject of calibration, I'm in the process of putting together a calibration service in partnership with a UK electrical retailer. And this information website has been created using Squarespace, an all-in-one platform that makes it super easy to build your online presence. Any website you create will be mobile optimized, which means it will look great on a smartphone, tablet, laptop, or computer monitor. You will also gain access to analytics and SEO tools to grow your business. So if you are looking to start a website or an online store, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash HDTV test to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again for your support. So as you can see, the latest firmware update of 3.11.15 has restored the peak brightness in HDR game mode and also in HDR filmmaker mode to match the originally brighter peak brightness on the HDR cinema mode on the LG C1 and G1. So well done to LG again for responding so quickly to feedback to correct these issues. Now let's tackle the thorny subject of whether the LG C1 actually carries the EVO panel that is only advertised on the more expensive and step up G1 series. 
I think, you know, there are a couple of well-known calibrators, notably Duane Davies and also John Reformato, who have measured and posted the spectral analysis of LGC ones found in the states, and they show the same characteristics as the LGG one in the sense that the SPD or spectral power distribution will show a narrower blue half width with a clearer separation between the green and red peaks. This is different from the LGC one that I measured myself in the UK with a white bag which showed that it is still using the same panel as last year's GX or CX. Now, here is the thing. When I asked LG about the situation, they were very clear that the EVO technology is a combination of the panel and also the SOC and also perhaps the TCON to extract the best out of the panel and that is exclusive to the G1. So only with the LG G1 you will get the higher peak brightness and also a more relaxed ABL or automatic brightness limiter that extends to full screen with the C1 even if it carries the latest OLED panel from LG Display and shows the same characteristics as the G1 in terms of the SPD or spectral power distribution, it doesn't mean that it will be capable of higher peak brightness and it will be capable of brighter full screen luminance. This is because you know the EVO technology is a combination of both the panel and also the chipset. And even though the SOC is the same between the LG C1 and G1, LG must have some sort of way to either differentiate them and to drive them differently. And perhaps there's a difference in the T-Con as well, which is of course part of the OLED module. So from that point of view, I don't think you should worry too much whether you should wait for an LG C1 with EVO technology in the hope that you will get higher peak brightness, a more relaxed ABL, because that is not going to happen regardless of whether an LG C1 has the older OLED panel or the latest OLED panel, they will be tuned to deliver the same performance, the same picture quality, the same characteristics. And the LG G1 is still your best bet if you want to get a higher peak brightness and a more relaxed ABL. If you'd like to watch more videos on 2021 OLEDs, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and I will see you in the next video.